Hello everybody and welcome back to the mixed modeling part of this series where we're going to model a shoe that fits around the STL file that we brought in from Thingiverse. So the last video, that's what we did. So we placed it on those three planes. And now what we're going to do is create a surface that goes around the shoe, around the foot uh, using a series of lofts. And we'll do a couple other little things so that we can get our foot enclosed in into something that looks like a shoe. So let's get to it. Let's make a shoe. All right, so I'm gonna turn on all my planes if they're not on already, so I can see them. First step, let's draw the sole. That's gonna be the base of our shoe. So go here, create a sketch. Whoops, wrong, we didn't pick up the plane. There we go, and on the keyboard. And we're gonna trace this using the spline tool. We want it to kind of fit close to what our foot is. And I think they call this like the toe box or gap up front. And any of these points that we don't like, we can always adjust later. All right, so that's it, hit escape. I'm gonna bring this one in a little bit more and I'm gonna bring these in a little bit around the heel. Just kind of pull them on in like that. And keep that smooth. I'll leave the front a little bit of space. Actually, you know what, let's bring them in too. that and we have it that's sketch one it's all done that's going to be the beginning of our shoe now we're going to create an offset plane from here offset and i want it to be at like the longest point of the foot so it's kind of a little bit tough to see you can see the line here right and bringing it up bring it up i think that's good there i'm gonna hit the check mark I'm going to create a section view of that. So let's turn off that. There we go. And you can see our foot. So I could have come down a little longer. It's not a big deal. Hit the check mark. Create a sketch. On. What is that? Plane one. And on the keyboard. And I'm going to do the same thing. You get two options. One, you could just project geometry of the first one onto the second one. So let's project geometry. Let's see. You on the keyboard projects that up and there we have it there so i know that when this lofts it's going to come up and then start kicking in hit the check mark turn off section view now i'm going to do one more around here the more you do the more the more guides or more like information that the on shape has to make the loft follow a certain feature so I'm going to do another offset plane from plane one. And I'm going to come up to about here-ish. Yeah, like right there. Okay. We will do another section view right here. So I can, and I'm doing the section view, so I know at that spot where my foot's gonna be so I don't intrude on it and I don't leave too much space. Plane two. All right, so now I'm just gonna draw around this. There we have it. This slight little bulge here, I could probably move these lines around a little bit. So it takes it away and it looks like it did. All right, we got that, finish sketch, turn section view off. So now we have something come up. We can actually check the loft here and see how it looks. I'm gonna do one more with the top to give like a cool like curved feature in it. And there's a couple ways we could have done this. This is the way I'm gonna do it here just to show you a different way of going about it. Create a sketch on here, on this top plane, what's mine is called the top plane. I'm gonna use the spline tool. I'm gonna to come further out. Basically, I wanna dip down and up. Okay, now I'm going bigger than I have to be because it'll become apparent in a moment. And I'm also, 
just gonna use this sketch plane. You could do actually any sketch plane to do this. I'm gonna do this one. Doesn't make a difference. Or you can create an offset. So if I wanted to, I can go offset from here. You can actually go way above if you wanted to. But I'm gonna go right there. Right at the bottom of where that curve is. You could actually do a plane point also if you wanted to. And I will do another section view. Sketch plane, there we go, check. Now for this, um, I could make an ellipse. So I'm gonna create a sketch on here of an ellipse, not constrained to anything. I want it like, uh, let's kind of match that a little bit. Make it wider. And then I can move it over. Now, if you don't like the ellipse, you can edit it a little bit, but that one fit by chance pretty good. Hit the check mark. Now, what I'm gonna do is combine these two curves so they have a third dimension. We're gonna use the projected curve tool. So I select the first sketch, I select the second sketch, and I hit check and turn off the section view, and there it is. Now, if you don't make that spline long enough, what will happen is, is when you combine the do, it'll leave the ellipse with open ends and it won't be able to loft. So now at this point, we should be able to loft. So let's do it. Loft, we're gonna do it as a surface. We're gonna go from here to here to here to there and it did not like it. It picked up this point, vertex of five. So now when we look at this, there's some issues. Let's try to fix them. What I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm gonna make some composite curves. That's a composite curve. This makes it one singular line. And that should be good. Let's try this again. And there you have it. Notice that now it kind of follows the foot a little bit better. It's a surface new. Because there was a point in that curve, it was picking that vertex. And then even when you selected the curve, it was then trying to line up points. Now that we've removed the points out by creating a, comp a composite curve, it just flows. Oh, good for you. And there you have it. We can turn off viewing these curves by looking at it over here. And now I have something that looks like a sneaker. It looks like a shoe, it looks pretty good. The bottom, we can fill in. Come up over here and you're gonna hit fill. Now the bottom's filled in, done. So this is a surface, there's no substance to it. We need to thicken or add material to it, which we can do. We can go to thicken right here, pick this, and notice it adds material. We wanna go the opposite direction, and I'm gonna go 0.125. And look, it added material right there. Hit check, that's the material. Now the bottom, it didn't. For that, we can do uh, either thicken for the bottom, just like that. Might be able to do an extrude, whoops. There we go, I'm doing extrude. Doing extrude and making it a separate part, and you'll see why in a second. For that, um, I'm gonna do, let's go 0. 0.5. Come on. Like that, and we're gonna hit the check mark. Now, the reason why I can do this is I can add some like little features in and around. And if these all these planes are bothering you, which they are a little bit for me, Turn some of them off over here. Okay, so now we have a basic shoe. That's all that it is. There's no features on it or anything else like that. We have something with some material there in space. Um, 
next video, what we're gonna do is we'll go and we'll add features to this and we'll make it a little more unique, add some colors to it. Um, anything like laces or zippers or anything that you can potentially design, I'm gonna show you how to put that geometry on this curved surface, add some colors and kind of make it look like something you would actually wanna wear. All right, everyone. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me make these videos for me, my students and anyone else that can benefit from them. Also, if you have anything else you want me to model or do, or maybe there's an easier way of doing this, please put it down in the comments. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye.